In order to demonstrate Unreal Development Kit, we're going to start by making an object in SketchUp. So I'm just making a simple building, pulling up some walls, and creating a door. I'm just going to push that one through, and there you see, we just have a simple building. I'm going to pull the floor up a little bit to make sure that nothing is zero thickness. I'm going to add textures to it. So a checkered floor and the edge there. on the walls and let's find some brick texture for the outside let's just do the insides of the doorway and there we have it doesn't matter about the underside nobody's going to see it so I'm going to export that as a 3D model and the format is going to be a Collada DAE file I'll save that into a folder And just looking at the options that I need, triangulate all faces and say export. And now I'm going to use FPX Converter to convert that DAE file, just find it in there. And that will convert it to an FBX format. That's the format that uh, UDK understands. And there's no options on there it's very quick and once it's done you can see there we've got a folder with the textures in that we used now they're not in the right format so we need to go and change those I'm going to open those up with Photoshop Now the format that SketchUp uses is a JPEG format. What we're going to do is we're going to save them as a PNG format. And just accept the defaults. And do that for the other two files. I can just drop them onto Photoshop. In the final file, So now working into uh, UDK, I've got a standard daytime scene with the cube in the middle. I'm going to go into the content browser and import. So find me folder that I've got everything in. And import the FBX file. Now just check that you've got the right settings on there
and give it a package name okay and that's fine so we've now got the actual model that we made and as you can see if you double click on it I can use <coughs> then the uh, mouse buttons to navigate around it's got no texture on it we need to get the textures in in the PNG format that we saved so I'm going to also import those textures in those three and just accept the defaults and you can see we have the textures in but textures aren't a material we need to create a material to apply now the walls not come in because the size is wrong so I'm changing the size of that to 256 and resave that using the crop tool I can make sure that it's 256 by 128 resave that file I'm going to flip back to UDK and re-import that file and it should come through OK this time and there we have it so we need to now create a material so that we can drop onto each of these surfaces of the model you can see when we select each material that it highlights it in the window right click on the texture and say create material and you'll see that's just created a blank material when we double click on that and drag the actual texture sample to the side and join it up into the diffuse and you can use any of those color colored dots on the side what that actually does is it feeds it into there we tick the green arrow and now we've got that material we select it and then apply it and you can see there the brick is now applied So that's the brick texture on there. Now I just need to create the other two materials. So the tiled flooring, create material. Double click on that. And hold down control. And drag that away. Feed it into diffuse. green tick and then close and the final material I'll just add the floor material in you can see there it's highlighted so just feed that one in now you can see there that it's not actually fed that material in now the problem I've got there is that the surface itself hasn't got a normal which is facing upwards I can sort that out in a bit so I'm going to create the third material which was for the wall covering feed that one into diffuse and green tick and then close that and apply that across so with it selected I like the walls and feed that over so that's now 
put everything in place apart from the floor. I say the problem with the floor is that the the, the up facing surface isn't the right surface, which I need to reverse that. Now the only way I can do that is by going back into SketchUp and changing that, and then re-importing the model. Now obviously we don't have to worry about the underside surface. So now we've got the model, we can actually just check in there. We go down to the bottom and untick the three collision tick boxes. And what that'll do is it'll make sure that the collision is per face. I'm just going to change the scale of that building to match the character because it is a little bit small. When we bring it in, SketchUp uses a different scale. And you can see there we have the object. If we say play from there, I can actually mess around with this building. It's a little bit big now. But you can see there I can, I can walk around and see the textures on the walls. get rid of the cube that's on there because we don't need it just scale that down a little bit more There we have a working building.